Hello, with uh, this video I'm going to show you how to embed in our application a very special uh, hardware from the manufacturer's uh, Bloom. Uh, it's uh, Aventus uh, hardware uh, that is quite special because its position is depending and relative to the cabinet uh, height. According to uh, Bloom's paper documentation, the catalog, I can notice here that depending on, on the cabinet's height, there are two typologies, one based on uh, 480 to 549 and the other from 550 to 1040. Therefore, to make it parametric, I will need to create a lot of parameters at the level of the cabinet manager. Well, it means now that I need effectively to create four uh, variables in my uh, cabinet parameters. Uh, these are copies from the book of uh, Bloom. Uh, the first one is VAL VALH, the second one VALX, the third one is uh, H, and the fourth one is a bit more complicated, it's called the HM base, and I need to enter a value uh, that is also just a copy uh, of the Bloom's catalog. So I'm sorry to repeat it, but actually uh, those variables are a carbon copy of uh, the Bloom's catalog. Now I need to insert in my application and import the hardware, so it's directly in 3D from Bloom. It's, this is called a reservoir, and uh, I need to immediately um, uh, change it from ACES to parasolid, because la otherwise later you might have problem in the CAM system. I'm going to import now the second part, which is the M base uh, of uh, my hardware. Uh, this must be also automatically changed from ACES kernel to Parasolid. And of course, uh, it will need to be uh, somehow uh, positioned. So with the help of the tribal, I'm going to rotate it first at 90 grade. I'm going to move it forward. I'm going to rotate it again and I need to center my uh, AHM base here uh, in the right uh, axis. And this can be done very easily with the, with the tribal. Now I'm going to assemble both parts to make only one assembly because uh, it's, it, it's, it's only one hardware in my virtual uh, library. And I give a rename it to the corresponding Aventus name since my M base must somehow automatically uh, move downward, I can achieve this by uh, creating a new uh, variable. So I need to do this and I create a pose M base variable. I let it to zero at this stage of my design. Now I'm going to assign it to the part and to do this I need to select the part, choose for part properties, select the anchor bookmark, and I'm going to simply write uh, before checking uh, show I, I just check show formula and I'm going to simply write the name of my variable here in this field and this will manage actually the distance uh, from the anchor uh, the distance of which the plate must be positioned okay so far it seems to be good but not yet actually because I realize here that the plate must somehow move the forward I, from according to the documentation, I know that the little extrusion there, I know it is at uh, 37 uh, millimeter from the front edge of my cabinet. So I just move it first backward with the tribal, and then I move it forward with a value of 37 millimeters. And I'm sure now that it's in the correct position. I can save now my new hardware in my hardware library. Okay, find this uh, my cabinet. I need to uh, to drop now my new hardware on uh, the lateral, the left uh, lateral, and so I select it in my virtual hardware library. This is it, the Aventus uh, hardware. I sell, I set the quantity on on one, and I just uh, validate and look uh, what it looks like on 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 the cabinet. Um, apparently, okay, uh, obviously it must be rotated somehow to be r properly positioned and it must be rotated around the, uh, for sure, the, the, the blue uh, arrow. 
and probably a, a, around the red arrow or the, uh, the, 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 the green arrow and that's that is very easily done with my wizard it's a, it's, it's really uh, user friendly looks good but so far is my hardware not parametric at all so if I look at the table of parameters of my cabinet there are a lot of them uh, it's it's quite impressive I don't know where to find my line and so on so I, I use a, a small trick I just uh, edit my uh, hardware uh, with the add-on properties and I enter a fantasy value like 152 in, in the rows field and if I get back to, to my table of parameters in the expression column I can easily spot no okay 152 millimeter I just I know it's my line I, I, I know that this is the line I have to work with and I'm going to enter H underscore 1 because it must take that value and as you can now realize the hardware has been moved onward somehow okay it's not yet uh, parametric uh, uh, you know that somehow the part the, the HM base must also uh, automatically move somehow so uh, I toggle back to the table of parameters and I target my pose M base uh, variable and I assign the HM base value and here I realize that effectively my M base has moved downward in the right direction at this stage uh, the hardware is still not parametric because remember that uh, its position is relative to the cabinet height so somehow I will need to introduce a function like if then else or whatever and uh, yes I'm going to write something like if uh, the cabinet's eighth is above such a value then uh, my variable should be set on and so on so I'm going to write it like we we do in many uh, applications and also in, uh, in Excel for for example so this is the way I'm going to do this okay nice now it's uh, the big test I'm going to uh, uh, edit the dimension of my cabinet I set it to uh, 540 I drop the edit feature to recompute everything and I toggle to my table of parameters and there effectively I can realize that the value has been updated so it's working uh, correctly and properly so this is uh, what my cabinet looks like I'm just uh, going to uh, hide the doors and verify that everything is okay inside okay I hide the door presence of the two hardware maybe one one shelf should be deleted we have the four hinges on on top if I look at the back of the door, there should be also uh, two, four more hinges. And if I toggle to uh, wireframe view, I can verify indeed that everything seems to be right. That's it. We have now a fully parametric cabinet with Aventus and it can be now dropped in my catalog for use later. If you are interested by our CADCAM system, do not hesitate to call me or send an email.